box if we don't have any pushers. Hello, Daddy. Hi. Are you being cross again? No, no, of course not. I was just having a friendly chat with my associates here. Well, now, Daddy, I shouldn't really keep you gentlemen from your business. But I saw the most exciting and adorable bikini at Lane Crawford. Oh, oh Just oh, what I need for our vacation in Manila. Okay. And, um... Oh, Daddy, you're so sweet. Mm. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. Toodaloo yourself, sir. You creeps have just till the end of the month to straighten out and shape up. When I come back from Manila, I expect to see results. Don't call me the devil, the mother. You'll get nothing but holy help from me if business doesn't start to pick up. Now get out. Get out! <laughs> it's too powerful. And he owns everybody. Yeah, he even owns us. Yeah? But he don't own that bottle, and neither do you. He's like Jekyll and Hyde, that guy. Yeah. One minute the devil, next minute some kind of angel. Somehow we gotta get this guy. There may be a way. Come on, come on, talk. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get together. Gentlemen waiting for you by the locker room. Now, what's this? 
I told you I fool everybody. Hello? Uh, Dublin, this is Manny. Yeah, Manny. Well, I just want to tell you that we got your daughter, Debbie. What is this, Manny? Some kind of a lousy joke. No joke, Devlin. We want a million dollars cash and complete control of the operation with you out. Now listen here, Manny. No sense in losing your temper, Devlin. I'll tell you right now that we mean business. Daddy! Daddy, please! <sighs> now listen here, you bastards. If you lay a finger on... Be reasonable, Devlin. Nothing's gonna happen to Debbie if you deliver the money. I will need time, Annie. Sure, you got 72 hours. We'll be in touch. Uh, operator. Yes, sir, this is the operator. I'd like to place a long-distance call to Singapore. Her name is Cleopatra Wong. Uh, uh, Interpol Exchange or something. I'll try there, sir. Hello. Yes, 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 she's here. Cleo, hold the phone. Miss Wong, overseas call for you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. All right. Miss Wong. What? Speak up. Devlin. Uh, who? Lucifer Devlin? Yes. Is this some kind of joke, Devlin? What the hell? Cleo, uh, Miss Wong, I need your help. My daughter's been kidnapped. Why didn't you call the cops? Now, you know damn well I can't go to the cops because of this. Uh, uh, hey, look, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I, I, I just can't explain the details of this thing on the telephone. But I'm desperate enough to give you anything you want. Anything? Listen, Devlin, this had better not be a trap. No trap, no trap. I give you my word on that. No trap, I swear it. Where are you now? Manila, Philippines. Ramada Hotel. Got it. I'm on my way. Miss Wong, your attaché. Thank you. <laughs> 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 a bridge to Hong Kong, huh? <laughs> I never thought you'd fall for that one. <laughs> yeah. Damn, we got the devil by the horns! <laughs> While all of you guys are cackling like a bunch of old hens, my father is no doubt on his way to tar and feather you. And get those damn lights out of my eyes, Hooky! Okay. Aren't we sensitive? <laughs> I'll show you what this hook can do. E easy, Manny. We need her. anything to me, e even life itself. I swear to God, I'll give you anything if you can get her back safe. I did hear you say anything? Yes. And my word of honor, whatever money it takes. I want more than just money. laughing at. <laughs> I was just thinking about the irony of all this. Here's the devil making a pact with you for a soul. <laughs> I don't want your soul, devil. I want your hide for all the evil things you've done. All right. You get that me back safe. All files and information on your operation. Connections, payoffs, 
sort of. All right, all right, all right, all right. It would be worth it to see those treacherous bastards nailed. <laughs> you taught them well. Not like what I'm going to teach them when I find That's them. That's my job. And I think I'm going to need help. I told you money was no object. But who are you going to get that's not known to my people? It will have to be someone unusual. Someone your goons would never suspect. And I think... I know who. <laughs> Hi there, everybody. Hello, Terry, darling. Oh, you're magnificent tonight. Uh, Yellow and green. Oh. You're simply supreme. Wow. He looks like a friggin' canary. <laughs> oh, you're just being jealous. Oh, a ghost! Hey, wow, man. Come on. A crumbling frappe, Betty. What? What happened to the Randy Alexander? Oh, Randy, that would never go with yellow. <laughs> I want an extra fullness in the sleeve. Hi, Terry. Remember me? Oh! Oh, remember you? Well, how could anyone forget the notorious? I'm in company. Oh, I love it. I must try that sometime. Well, what brings you here, of all people? Are you trying to pass me? I have to talk to you. Can't? You could ruin my reputation. Let's go grab it, okay? your own damn business. That is, if you have it, scoop. Oh, huh, maybe he's putting us on. Maybe she ain't a lady at all. Yeah, maybe. Is this real? You scumbag. <laughs>
Ta-da! Well, thank you, my dear. It's terrible the way Grandpa let come to this place. I see you haven't lost your touch. Ha! Huh. If it weren't for my touch, I'd still be on the floor as a Theo. I didn't mean that. Uh, that touch. Has it been difficult for you? Well, I do miss all the badges and bullets. But at least I have been myself. It's so nice to be needed. Well, I need you now. Really? Oh, I don't think I can handle this thing. Think. think of my public. Be serious, Terry. Remember. I'm the one who turned you on to this cop and robbers routine in the first place. And freelancing for the force. Never paid as much money as I'm willing to for the job I have in mind. Ooh, money. Oh, that's what got me into trouble for the last time. It could even turn me through. Taking kickbacks is your idea. But your reputation around here for being corrupt is very handy. And you have an here for action. Yeah, I really do have a job in here. What do I have to do? Just be yourself. I'll explain. Oh, I'm so glad. I was afraid you were going to ask me to get out of the show. Oh. Clusters of gems. Great clusters of enormous rubies. No, no. They are grapes. They are succulent. Rare and vintage. Plump and juicy. A feast for the eyes. Delicious. I feel... I feel the, the presence of the grapes is very important in your life. The grapes symbolize bountiful future. And a rich life. Yeah. It looks to me like your grapes are on fire. Oh, shit. So you patch one. I shut her down. You should pay more attention to your customers. That's okay. You still got your fortune told. Let's talk about your fortune. How is it? I'm eating it. That's what I thought. You want to make some real money, Rotunda? Are these rubies or are they great? What do you think? You know, sometimes I really don't understand you, Rotunda. You're one of the few really gifted clairvoyants I know. And yet, here you are, wasting your time on this sideshow stuff. What else can I do, Cleo? And besides, how often do I get a chance at police work? Only when the cops are really stumped. And even then, they're too embarrassed to, to call on you for your ESP. So, here am I. All 305 pounds of me. Okay. I've got a really good one for you this time, Rotunda. And this will pay those grocery bills of yours for a long time. Wow! That much? What the hell do I have to do? Rob the Vatican? Nope. Uh, strangle John Travolta? Nope. Just a simple kidnapping. Or, um, maybe not so simple. How come there's so much money in it? I made a pact with the devil. And this is the best you can get for what I'm paying you? This is the best, period. If these people seem unlikely to you, they'll seem unlikely to everybody, and that's just what we need. You better be right. I am right. All right, now, to get down to business. Our first job is to find either Manny, Mo, or Jack, and hope that they will lead us to where Debbie's being held. All these men have business interests here in Manila. 
So at least that gives us some places to start looking. Terry, you'll hit the hooker bars and try and get a handle on Manfred the Hook Spinel. Look for a bearded guy with a hook for his right hand, and that'll be Manny. A hook? Oh, my. How nasty. Rotunda, you cover the gambling joint in hopes of getting a clue to Mo. He's known in the racket as Morris Casino Jones. Keep your eyes and ears open. Not to mention her mouth. I'll track the pushers and drug connections for a lead on Jackson, the horse in the barrel. Okay, let's get to it. Wait a minute, what am I supposed to do in the meantime? I can think of something. Oh. Now, the three of us will rendezvous later to compare notes. Where will we meet? I know this great restaurant. I'll bet you do, big baby. Right. If you want to rendezvous with me later, I'd be happy to give you a try. Mm. I think I can help. What? No. I'm new around here. I, I don't trust anybody. I was told to see the horse. The horse? Are you Jackson, the horse? They sent you. Look, I was told you could get me some top-graded stuff, and I've already paid. 
I said, who sent you? Your connection in Hong Kong. I use them all the time out of Aberdeen. My Hong Kong connections don't deal out of Aberdeen. You just lost the game, baby. <laughs> Right now? Oh, no, uh, th this is a bad time. No, I'm 
that. What a name. Well, I have to look after my poor infant mother. Could I come back, man? Hey, you sure you're coming back? Oh, definitely. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Anytime you are, madam. Huh? Do you wish another card? I'm good. to be fingered by Captain Hook. That's all. All right, you guys. Cut it out. Not enough problems. Let's face it, Terry. You're our last chance. Oh, sure, darling. And once that, that, that psycho manning gets this cold steel hook into my panty gun, it'll be all over for poor me. You know, Terry, if you could get something off this guy, maybe I could get a leave. 
worked on the VFP. Oh, you mean that stuff really worked? Oh. Oh. Of course it worked. Schmuck and lucky old man doesn't have it. When you spotted that bulge in your panty girdle the moment you walked in. What do we need, Rotunda? Anything. Anything you carried out or worn to the hideout. Just be sure it's something personal. That he wouldn't be without, you know? Right. Now, Terry, I want you to go to the motel with Manny. I'll leave it up to you, to your own ingenuity, to get something personal off it and get back here to us without getting yourself caught. Understand? Well, simple as that, huh? What if I am caught? Thanks. But I'd rather go to Denmark for that kind of surgery. Of course, with your customers, this would be the moment of truth, wouldn't it? What do you mean? Well, isn't this where I'm supposed to get paid for my job? Yeah, but I ain't a customer. Oh, I know. But couldn't you give me something? Oh, just so I'd remember. Wouldn't it be dreadful if I should forget to ask, and then there wouldn't be anything for either of us. Oh! Now, I don't pay for auditions. Oh, it doesn't have to be money. Just, just something. Get out of there. Come on, baby. Oh. Let's get down to business. Oh, oh you sex maniac. You. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You want to play, do you? Mm-hmm. Catch me if you can. <laughs> seen I, I I don't know we have less than 48 hours to get Debbie out and what have you done with your time uh, my money what what 
this. Yes, this. I know time is running out. You don't have to remind me of that. Yeah, yeah, you'll get your money. I, I just need a little bit more time. I said you'll get it, everything. 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 Now, look, I want to know that, that Debbie's all right. Debbie? Debbie? Sweetheart, are, are, you, are you all right? What did they say? Ah, uh, it's no use. I, I gotta give in to them, Cleo. Is Debbie all right? Well, she's all right for now. I've talked to her. Would she say anything? Nothing much. They didn't allow her to talk too long. But she must have said something. Well, uh, she, she, she said she was okay. And that until their demands are met, she would be kept on ice. That's it? <laughs> Rotunda and I will go look for a back way. Good luck. next to the ice plant.
Come on, come on, let's get with the game. Mm -hmm. Let me have two cards. Come on, hey, you, up. get us something to drink on the double. I right, pass. Get Blover and get out of here. Yeah. Anyway, Manning's waiting for us at the beach. Come on, let's go. <laughs>
guys go that way. The rest of you come with me. Give it.
and get Debbie. Right. Oh, but Rotunda. Maybe she can hear about that. Taking off with Debbie. Thanks for bringing down my stuff. Come on, let's go. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Are you sure you have dribbled on like this before? Hmm? No, of course not. Oh, then what are you trying to do? You don't expect me to, to ride on that side, do you? All right, you guys, let's stop wasting time and get going. Rotunda, you get into the sidecar and navigate. Terry, you hang on to me. Oh, there you go again, trying to ruin my reputation. Oh. Devlin, this is Mo. Just letting you know, sending those characters after us didn't work. We took care of them good. <laughs> Time is up, Devlin. This is your last chance. Bring the money to the Fisherman's Beach in Batangas. Now. And be sure to be alone. Because Debbie is already up to her neck in trouble. <laughs> <laughs>
Everybody, what are you waiting for? Oh. Terry, there's no way. Oh, dear. Now what, darling? I guess we'll have to hitchhike. Should be asking you the same question. I thought you were dead. Well, obviously we're not. Well, as far as I'm concerned, all of you are dead. I should have known better than to hire a bunch of stupid idiots like you for a job I can do myself. Devlin's gonna be heading for the payoff. Come on. Go 
Here's your money. What in the hell is this picture crap? Where's Debbie? If you've heard her wrong... Easy, easy, Devlin. This wouldn't be a picnic without Debbie. Debbie? Debbie! Help me, please! Please, Daddy! Come on, get him! Debbie! Hold him! Hurry, let Debbie! Sweet on! I'll blow you away. Come on. Tie him up. <laughs> Let Debbie go! Here, tie him up here. <laughs> you bastard! You bastard! We had a deal! No more deals, Delta, because you're through. You and your blooper daughter are all washed up. No more devil! And I've got my money! <laughs> it's ours, baby. Our money. Yeah, our money. <laughs> you no good scumbag! Yeah! You're a no good scumbag. <laughs> you bastard! You goddamn son of a bitch! Daddy! Devlin's men are down there, and so is his car, but I don't see Devlin. Or Debbie. They must be in one of those fishing huts. Come on, let's find a way in. Hey, hey, I think I got an idea. Okay, Cleo. How are you? Tide will be in soon. <laughs> yeah, the devil and his daughter will be out. The fishermen won't find them until tomorrow. Then they'll know who their new boss is. You mean bosses, don't you? Oh, boss. Yeah, bosses. Yeah, yeah, bosses. Yeah, bosses. I'm a bad boy. You 
animals. I'm going to die. <laughs>
Get Debbie, she's buried out there. I don't need this anymore. 